Alright guys, it's Remus here at EO Rants. Today, we're just going to do a tutorial on how to download and play Endless Online. Because I know a lot of you guys have probably seen my videos, but don't know anything about how to uh, actually get the client, or actually how to get into the game. So I'm just going to make a quick tutorial. It's going to be simple on how to do that, as long as you have a base knowledge on how to use a freaking Windows desktop. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Google Chrome. And uh, if it's small, you may need to full screen this to see what I'm doing here. But uh, just do a Google search for Endless Online Client Download. The first thing that comes up is this link here to EO Broadcast. And you can easily get it from this website right here just by clicking on that. And uh, there is a download for pre-installed, uh, which is a zip file. This is the easiest way to get Endless. So you'll just want to download the pre-installed zip file. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So we're going to show in folder. What we're going to do is right-click that, and depending on what uh, zip program you have, if any, your menu may differ. But the point being is you're going to want to extract files. just going to extract it directly to the desktop it'll take a minute okay once that finishes you will have a folder on your desktop um, for what you just extracted so here it is here EO version 28 there's a readme here you can read it or don't either way the next thing you're gonna want to do is open up this program here called eConfig. Now, once you've got eConfig open, you want to make sure that your settings look like this. Once you know that they look like this, just click on Save, and that will save your settings. It'll tell you that the configuration has been saved, and you're good to go. That's all you really need to change in here. Uh, but if you want to, you can also turn off the language filter so it doesn't censor your swear words. Because we all like to say fuck once in a while. Um, there are a few other things you can mess with, but I don't recommend it unless you really know what you're doing. Um, I prefer to play it in a window. Everything else, I would just leave it alone. Um, so when you're done, you can just close out of the endless configuration file. And... Uh, should be good to go. There's a file within the folder uh, called endless.exe. You can create a shortcut to that on your desktop or you can just leave it in the folder 